Hello! Today I'm going to be working with you on the debut string orchestra excerpt for viola. This is an arrangement of Sanson Carnival of the Animals, and I encourage you to listen to the real piece, but also on YouTube if you type in exactly what the title looks like on the excerpt, you can find some versions of this for string orchestra to listen to. So that's a great place to start with any excerpt is to listen to it first because that way that you, then you can really hear the mood or the character of the piece of music that you're working on. So first off, I'm going to perform this for you under tempo. So it says half note equals 100 for this excerpt and I'm going to play it for you at half note equals 60. Now, if you'd like, you could also put your metronome on quarter note equals 120, because that will give you the quarter note pulse so that you can feel how that subdivides a little bit better. And you may notice while I play this excerpt that I've chosen some fingerings uh, that might be different from yours, and that's okay, but I'll explain my choices after I play the excerpt under tempo for you. So here we are going to play, I'm going to play it for you, half note equals 60. So we're getting the pulse in our head. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Okay, so again, that was at half note equals 60, which is way under tempo than what we really want to be doing. So, before we go any further, after I say this, I want you to pause this video and write these things into your part so you can practice them. The first thing is to circle all of the dynamic markings. Now, it says on the excerpt that we start off fortissimo, but I can see in the second line that it's suddenly piano. So circle that piano. And in fact, it looks to me as if it stays piano for a lot of the excerpt. A lot of people think when they do an audition that they need to play the loudest possible just to impress the person listening to their audition. But a really great piano sound can also be very, very powerful in its own way. So, when we finally get to measure 30 down at the bottom of the excerpt, then if we are piano enough, we can really pace that crescendo to the ending forte. So write in your dynamics right now. Okay, so hopefully you actually paused the video and wrote in your dynamics and circled them. And I also want you to look at the fourth line of this excerpt where it says pizzicato. Circle that too. And then circle in measure 29, the arco where it goes back to arco, just in case you missed it. So now let's talk a little bit about fingering choices. Now for this excerpt, it is possible to play the entire excerpt in first position. In fact, that would be a very clean way to play it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But one of the expected skills to be a member of the debut string orchestra is proficiency in the first, second, and third positions. Now, you can show some of this proficiency in these positions when you play your scales or your solo, but although it's not required because there are no fingerings written in the excerpt, it would be, I would, I would think, a good thing to show the person listening to your audition that you can do third position for just a little bit if you need to, or a lot of it too. So one thing that I decided to do in measure 15, which is the second measure of where the excerpt starts, is I go into third position there. So after I play the first measure, I shift to third position. 
for doing that is because of the string crossings that we would have if we did it in first position. Which is fine, it just takes um, a lot of skill to get that really clean and maybe if your adrenaline's rushing a little bit or playing it at a fast tempo, it might be really difficult to get it clean. But you can also show the person listening to your audition that you did a great shift to third position. And plus you get to really dig in on that awesome viola C string. Now. I will be honest with you, when I played through my slow version, I forgot to stay in third position like I wanted to. So I'm gonna do the opening for you again and show you how you can stay in third position all the way until measure 22. I'll do it a little faster. I'm gonna kick up the metronome now to uh, half note equals 80. And so I'm going to go into third position in measure 15 and stay in third position until the end of measure 21. So here's our half note. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. shift down to first position in measure 22. Okay, now let me turn off the metronome here. In measure 23, you have two choices. You can stay in first position, which is totally cool. Uh, sound, sounds great. Might want to use a fourth finger on those Ds, but you could also shift into third position on the C sharp after uh, and measure 23 after the downbeat. And stay in third position the whole time. Now, if that sort of is a scary thought, you have some time to practice and you also write in all the fingerings. And if you are practicing this and all of a sudden first position is just sounding a lot better to you, then you should definitely choose the fingering that you will sound the best playing. And don't, under any circumstances, choose third position just because I told you to do it if it's going to be out of tune or make it sound messy or make you feel uncomfortable. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about measure, we're going backwards a little bit actually, measures 20 and 21. I see some accents on the downbeats there. So we don't have to do too much during those accents, I, I don't think, to make them come out. Something that I just think of is just adding with the, the index finger on my bow, just, just kind of scooping into my string a little bit. Um, I'm realizing that I'm kind of short, so let me stand on my tippy toes. You can see I'll kind of overdo it and let you see what I'm doing with my index finger. So just kind of digging in. Um, that was a little crunchy that time, but I kind of overdid it a little bit. So don't overdo it, but just a little bit of an accent I think will be good. Okay, so let's just summarize. Try to put in some third position in this excerpt if possible. If uh, you definitely have the time to make it reflect your best abilities at the viola. And again, it is totally possible to play this excerpt without shifting into third position at all. We also want to really do the dynamics, fortissimo piano and big crescendo at the end. And we want to cleanly go from pizzicato to arco in measure 29. So you don't need to anchor your thumb or anything like that for the pizzicato. Just hold your bow and use your index finger to pizzicato because it actually lasts a pretty short amount of time. And what else did we talk, did I mention? Um, just be musical. Listen to the, to the music on YouTube so you can really, really get an idea of the character of this excerpt. So now, I'm going to bump up my metronome to the actual tempo, which is half note equals 100. Now, in the course of this video, I went from 60 to 80 to 100. I don't recommend doing that in your practice room at home. I would go up even more incrementally than that. And of course, put it on the quarter notes so you can really feel the subdivided pulse. So, 
you can also keep yourself a little practice journal every day and really keep track of how many increments that you moved up. And the next day when you practice, let's say that you got to half note equals 80 and it's sounding really clean, then um, the next day, I wouldn't go all the way back to 60 or 50 or whatever that you first started at. Maybe start a little bit before 80, like at 70 or something, and see if you can creep up a little bit closer to that 100 mark. And then as the time gets closer and closer for you to record your audition, make sure that you do it as close to tempo as possible every time that you start to practice. Now, of course, we wanna take some time to do it under tempo to make sure that things are clean still, but I really want it to become part of your musical DNA, what that 100 to the half note feels like. So here we go. Here is the debut string orchestra viola excerpt at half note equals 100. Thank you for listening. Thank <laughs> you.